I have no time to falter. They're coming for me. But I need to weigh all pros and cons once more. Am I ready to start anew in the world of magic? Forgetting my Vedic duty, destiny, and friends? Brother, how could you have betrayed us? The Codex commands us not to interfere in the affairs of the magic world. Humans and spirits, we're all one. What kind of demons have possessed you? You're stark raving mad. I'm not mad. I'm only now beginning to see clearly. Everything we've done till now was wrong. We must not fight magic. Humanity will die under a furious onslaught of darkness. This is treason. killed me. in either of the two worlds. But that's no good. 
You mustn't throw your life away for my sake. This won't solve anything. What about the chains of the Titans binding the mask of the Faceless? Did you manage to destroy their magic? No, it didn't work. This magic is beyond the likes of me. Spirits are helpless against the magic of the Giants. All of our efforts were in vain. Exactly. It's a job for a human. Don't worry, my little Daisy. I'm friends with a sorceress from the human world. She'll help us. She'll cast spells on my sword, so I can crush the chains. Then we'll get our hands on the mask to... To be together? No. I'd rather be alone and, and know that you're somewhere safe and sound and watch you suffer. You betray your order and give up mankind, and then we use an artifact steeped in black magic. That's too high a price to pay for love. But I'm ready to pay it. Get out! I don't need your sacrifice! Without a fiery sword, you can as much as scratch these chains. Without a fiery sword, you can as much as scratch these chains. What are you doing here, Ducty Rig? You're being followed. Get out of here before the Veds barge in and either pop us off or throw us in the clink. Hang on. I have an errand to run. What errand? And why should I help you? You kind of owe me one. I haven't told the Veds about you, so it's thanks to my kindness that you can still practice witchcraft. Enough of your blackmail. What do you want from me? Remember, I told you about the ice chains of the giants? Well... Charm my sword so that I can crush these chains. Ice chains, you say? Pig's hair, dog's wings, legless bug-eyed mole. Those may work. Hang on. I need fire. I've got this thing called Dragon's Blood, left to me by my grandma. Let's see what we can do with that. What are you doing, you jerk? Duke what does this broad want from me? It's all good, buddy. We can trust her. This is dangerous. You know the Veds can sense witchcraft. Doctor, you damn rat. Is this really so dangerous? No, no. It doesn't work like that. There's nothing to be afraid of. That had better be true, Toadstool. It's done, buddy. Take your sword and scrap. Thank you, my friend. That's exactly what I need. What a lucky meeting. Magic is coming out of the woodwork, Duk. It seems you have failed to grasp the key principle of the Vedic statute. Magic must remain beyond the boundary of the human world. It is the only way to save humanity. You're way out of line. Time to pay for your indiscretions.
This is the end. Any violation of the Vedic statute entails the same punishment, the purification rite in the sanctuary of the Vedic Brotherhood. The Grand Master's harsh sentence is the last thing that the convicted party would hear in his life. In the name of the eternal law of the boundary, you are banished from the Brotherhood for your devious violation of the statute, thus forfeiting your sword, strength, and memory. From now on, you cease.